We've completed our arcade model, but by now you're probably starting to get a little tired of all these drab gray colors. In this video, we'll look at some ways to adjust the surface qualities or materials of our model. Materials in Maya are created and assigned through an editing window known as the hypershade. We can bring up the hypershade by choosing Window, Material Texture Baking Editors, Hypershade, or by simply clicking on the Hypershade Perspective Quick Layout button on the left side of the Maya interface. In order for any model to display correctly in Maya, it needs to have some kind of material, also known as a shader assigned. Maya's material creation tools are very versatile, but are also complex, so we're just going to scratch the surface in this course and focus on a few features of a very basic material type known as a Fong shader, named after the computer graphics researcher who invented the shading model. Fong shaders include a variety of surface qualities including color, transparency, reflectivity, and shininess. All of these attributes can be adjusted by double-clicking on the Fong preview sphere and modifying values in the attribute editor, which appears to the right of the screen where we often find the channel box. By default, all new objects are automatically assigned a mid-gray Fong material, but we can modify the settings for this default shader or create additional materials and assign them to models or even individual faces. To create additional Fong materials, we'll choose Create Materials Fong from the Hypershade menu. You'll see that a new Fong material is created with the same mid-gray color assigned. Materials can be renamed by double-clicking on the Fong attribute at the top of the attribute editor, or by right-clicking on the Fong preview icon, selecting Rename, then entering a new name from the pop-up menu. I'll name this new material Side Panel Color. To assign a material to geometry, click and hold the middle mouse button to drag the material from the hypershade onto geometry in one of the viewports. Or, select the object or component, right-click, go to Assign Existing Material, and choose the appropriate material from the menu. Now that my new material has been assigned to the side panels, let's adjust a few of its attributes to modify the appearance of our arcade cabinet. First, I'll adjust the color. I can shift the value of the current gray color between dark and light by dragging the slider. I can also choose a new color by clicking on the gray square, then clicking again on the color wheel, sliders, or palette buttons. Notice that my preview icon updates with each mouse click, and so do the shader ball model in the material viewer and the arcade side panels which have been assigned this material. As you can see, even this basic Fong shader includes a lot of attributes which can be modified to adjust the appearance of the material, but we'll just look at a couple more important attributes in this video. Just beneath the color attribute, you'll see the transparency attribute, which can be used to create the appearance of glass or clear plastic. When set to black, the material is fully opaque. Shifting toward white makes the material appear more transparent. And down below, there are a few attributes which can be used to adjust the shininess, also known as specularity, of the material. The specular color attribute determines the color and intensity of the shine or highlight of the object. Setting the specular color to black will give the material more of a matte appearance, and choosing a brighter specular color will make the material appear more glossy or shinier. Once again, clicking on the gray square, will bring up a color picker so that we can choose a specific color for the highlight. Finally, the cosine power attribute can be used to adjust the size of the highlight. A higher cosine power value results in a sharper highlight, and a smaller value softens and spreads the highlight. If we were working with a very simple object, or one that would only be seen from a distance, we might be able to get by with just a few different material assignments. But this asset needs a lot more surface detail, so in the next video, we'll explore how images can be applied to an object to create more complex color and surface detail.